Hi, my name is Melvin Isaac. I'm a, a BCAP producer for Brooklyn Community Assets Television, and also I'm a professional artist. Uh, the reason why uh, I'm talking to you is sort of like a short introduction, and uh, this is because of uh, this uh, very good person named Sandra Smalls, who's the leader of the small bands, and she called me to videotape uh the uh given raising money for the homeless at central park and uh, i thought this was a good a very good deed to do and uh i'm very happy to do it now in a minute you will hear from sandra smalls and uh i just want to let you know that uh i have a uh, I'm very proud of what I'm doing uh, as far as helping out the homeless because I love helping. I know eventually this will always come back as a good deed. And uh, I have a good website because I'm a professional artist. And uh, as you can see, the uh, my uh, logo is uh, coming across and you can, you know, uh, go to my website to look at what I'm doing at www artistictalentinc.web.com So uh, enough of me. Uh, listen to Sandra. She's going to tell you all about why she's raising the money. And just to make sure what's going on, we, we're going to go out and from the money that she raised from all the talented people that she had to help her, uh, she's going to go out and uh, buy clothes, food, all this stuff for the homeless, and then we're going to give it out to them while we videotape them as well. So I think this is a very good deed, and uh, I can't wait. I'm excited to uh, see this is done. So like I said, enough of me. And now before we uh, uh, introduce you to the show, I'll let you see the show that we did to raise the money. Uh, here's Sandra right now. My name is Sandra Small, and this is Rock Against Homelessness.
All right, um, so once again, my name is Tayana. I'm a singer, songwriter, rapper, producer, and um, you're gonna hear some of my songs. Yeah. So while my music waits, uh, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about myself. Um, oh, never mind. This one's called Dream Beyond the Moon.
that uh, I wrote, you know, towards kids who grow up That's not it yet. knowing pain and wondering what it would be like if there was no pain. I think we should have some kids on stage, if possible. Can we get some kids on stage? Come on, don't be, don't be scared. The <laughs> one's running away. Come on, Maddie. <laughs> Come on stage. All right, we got one kid. We got more kids. Come on, let's no more children. Kids? Yeah, we got kids. <laughs> Where are they running to? <laughs> <laughs> you see the back door. That's Come on, what. children. Come on, little children. Watch your step, Madison. Careful, Madison. You can hold my hand. Any more children? Call in the kids to the stage. Come on. Oh, careful. Oh, man. Please be careful. Hello, what's your name? What's your name? Nikki! Woo! <laughs> All right, so, uh, oh, that's so beautiful. All right, so this song is called No Pain, and um, whenever you're ready, Mom. All right. You guys are going to dance and have some fun, OK? Yes, come up here. Turn it up. You all the way up in your phone? It'll go up. When I was a little kid, I wanted to know what life would be like. There was no pain, and there was no pain. When I was a little kid, I wanted to know what life would be like. There was no pain, and there was no pain. No. No ghetto kid would ever see mommy and daddy stressed Lots of little girls and boys are broken because daddy's left But most parents are gone making them orphans Knowing kids having kids leads to abortions How about the kids with no guidance leading the violence? This is my second single, this is actually new yeah. Like I said, once again, I written and arranged all of my songs This is called Headboard <laughs> So yeah, let's get right into it Homelessness, we out here 
This song right here I'm about to perform for y'all. It's about the game of life. The game of life, you never fall down and just lay there. You want to get back up. Keep playing, playing hard. Play to win. No matter what you're going through, stand up and fly straight. Hit it. You don't get to quit. Stopping by. I hope you're enjoying the show. Please donate if it's a dollar or one hundred dollars, credit cards, anything. It would be really greatly appreciated. My name is Rachel Lauren. I was uh, fortunate enough to be on the next big thing. It was on Oxygen Network and E. And I also did a song with Pitbull. It's in Japan right now. It's called Burning Up the Club, and I hope you guys check it out. But um, I'm going to be bringing up my dancers in a minute. But I hope you guys enjoy the show, and it's good to see you all.
up is to Shy Williams, and I am standing here with China. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you for coming out to Rock Against Homelessness today. So, like, um, talk to everyone at home and tell them the songs that you actually perform. So the songs I performed are off my debut EP called Dream and Color, and it's all about just inspiring people to just pursue their dreams. Nice, nice. What did you think of uh, this event? And um, you know, how do you feel? How how important is it to you that we actually have to give back to the homeless? Oh, this is so important. You know, I mean, I'm so I'm so happy that this venue is here. You know, to raise money, and it was it turned out great. It was a successful event. Right, Central Park. Love Central Park. We're at Central Park. I love this. Let me get a tour. Oh, <laughs> amazing outfit. Rock against homelessness. What's up? I'm standing here with Rockstar JTB. But wait, you have to peep this. Turn around, turn around. Him, Hop, Diva, what? Girl, you got, you got swag. Give me a high five. So I saw you doing your thing today on the stage. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, how do you think it's important for people to give back to the homeless? And tell everyone at home why you think it's important. I think it's important because there's a lot of people out there who really need help. And it's not fair that most people eat, right? And they just throw it in the trash. Other people need it. So that's why I'm helping. I also provide for the homeless. But I um, sometimes donate my sneakers that I don't use no more. Or I get food away that I don't, you know, really eat. Or I get my toys and dolls away for the little kids. That is so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love this girl. So, um, whoo. Okay. So, what songs did you perform today? I performed Rockstar JTV and Walk It Talk. And Walk It Talk. Can we get, like, a little freestyle? Can we get a little freestyle? Yes. I ready? Um. Yeah, I might be small, but I'm walking tall. Yeah, I might be small, but I'm walking tall. Yeah, I might be small, but I'm walking tall. You take what you can get, homie. I want it all. While I'm on here, and I be hating on me. You 26 and hungry, go and make some money. You looking at my eyes like you wanna take it from me, but I got credit from the jeweler that just made it for me. Me mugging me like it's something tasty funny. But my goods is in the building. You wanna make it, honey? You have stepping. I'm doing this fully. You got taste home from school. I bully the bully. You heard it fast, Rockstar JTB. Give me a little, give me a little high five. She was teaching me a dance. <laughs> Baby. How does the dance go? Show me the dance. I'm gonna do it to the beat. To the camera, okay, let's go. Okay, I think I got it. We at the Nuremberg Band Shell stage, killing it right now, having a good time right now. I just got off stage. Now, why, why are we actually here today, Tony? Well, we're here because it's actually a great event. What's going on right now is uh, um, to raise money for homelessness, which I think is a great cause. Um, basically, there's a lot of great performers out here. Um, there's raffle tickets being given out, selling to raise money just for a good cause, which is homelessness, and it's a great cause. <laughs> nice. It's also Michael Jackson's birthday, right? You ran up there and you sang like a song by Michael Jackson. That was kind of emotional. What made you do that? Yeah, I did that because as a young boy, he was the only person that I looked up to coming up. Like, he was somebody who inspired me. He just did the unthinkable. And I always felt like for have, to have something like that touch so many people's hearts, I want to be a part of something like that. I didn't even have the gift of singing. I think God just gave it to me because I wanted to do it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my last question is, oh, I love this song. My last question is, um, did you buy a raffle ticket? Rock against homelessness. What's up, guys? I'm standing here with Jay Hoffa. What up, Jay Hoffa? What's up, what's up? You've you done your thing today. I love I the song. 
song, the first song that you performed, I really like the lyrics. What inspired that? You know, my brother, he was going through a very hard time in life, and you know, I was trying to pick him up. But you know, you can only do so much for somebody, so I got tired of it, you know what I mean? And I just expressed it through a song. It was it was even better. And you know what he actually did? Turn his life around. I like that, I like that. And um, of course, I was performing with you in the second song. That was very emotional. I love that song. What is No Pain about? No Pain is about, you know, kids growing up in the struggle, in the ghetto, you know what I mean? You know, just going through pain, you know, life's ups and downs. And a, and a kid really shouldn't have to know that pain. You know what I mean? It's their parents' fault, you know what I mean? They didn't bring them into something better, but, you know, they have to deal with that. They grow up with it. How important do you feel it is to give back to the homeless? Very important. I know very well what it feels like from going from shelter to shelter with my mother having nine kids. Also, when, you know, I was around 20, 21 years old, you know, hopping from place to place to place. You know what I mean? My mother moved to Puerto Rico. I had nowhere to go. So you've actually felt it yourself? Oh, yeah, definitely. And now a little buddy told me you and Torn Edges, your label, are going on to do a huge thing. Yes, we are. Collaborating with Dream Power Entertainment. Keep up the good work. All right, so on the count of three, we're going to say, It's Melvin Isaac. I'm here in support of Sandra, uh, Sandra Small and the Small Band and all the other activity that was going on over there. So, uh, as far as helping the homeless at, I'm with it 100%. I think this is the right thing to do. I think she's a very humble person. And I hope everybody out there is listening to it and continue on donating and helping the homeless as well. Don't be strong, be powerful. Don't be small, be intellectual. Don't think nothing less so you don't think nothing less you, brother.